What's this last few days been like? It's After been, having, you know, kind of exploding a little bit. It's been awesome. I mean, the first, obviously, Monday and uh, Sunday, Monday, um, it was awesome, and I was able to enjoy, you know, that time. And But right as, you know, the practice is hit, uh, we focused on, on Oregon. We want to get this next win and kind of leave it in the past. Yes, it was a great game, and um, I was able to perform well, but uh, just moving on to the next to the next game and, and keep it rolling. What did Puka and Gunner say? Because I know you guys are close, and you know we are been super close. so good. Yeah, you know what did they say? To I you? mean, we're all like brothers in there, and they came up and embraced me all through the game. They were you know hyping me up and um, really making me feel like you know you can do this. Like this is this is your time and. Um, so it was awesome to, to feel their embrace and their love, and um, and then they're just their motivation after. Just hey, this isn't over. Keep going. You're used to the pressure. I've seen it, you know, throughout the years of being a really good receiver. But do you feel more pressure after having a big game to be like, okay, I got to go out and do that again? You know, I, I better not drop anything. Or you know. <laughs> I I'm just here to play some football. You know, I, I love it. I love football, and and that's something that Gunner told me is this is a game. Like go out and play so I feel you know just chill just comfortable just I'm gonna go out and do my thing what do you expect to see from Oregon they're some of the most athletic you know football players that I've seen on film and uh just their their measurables and everything and uh we're gonna get their best obviously they want to they want to beat they want to beat us and uh so we're just gonna go out and, and play our game play some football and hopefully it'll be a good fight and, and we can take it to them do you expect them to pay you extra attention because of what you did, or is it more they'll just stick to their scheme and, and believe they can they can handle? It? I, you know, I don't know how how you kind yeah. of evaluate that. I mean, I'm sure. Yeah, after after a good game, and um, Jaron Hall did target me quite a bit, so I'm sure they'll have an eye on me. But the good thing is we have all these other receivers that that will go off if if that's the case. If not, then um, you know we'll we'll do our thing, and no matter what, I think we'll go score some points. I'm sure you're looking forward to playing in Odds, and that's a you know that's one of those venues. I've heard it's that's yeah, known no. to be pretty good. Exactly. No, I'm I'm super excited. It's going to be a blast. It's going to be loud. It's going to be fun. I'm, I'm sure there'll be a bunch of BYU fans there too. So, so we'll have we'll have our side there too. Offensively and, and as a receiver, what's the key when it does mm -hmm. get really noisy, particularly in the negative sense? Because yeah. they're going to try and mess you guys up, just like the yeah. BYU fans were trying to mess up Baylor. Of course. So, what's the key for you guys in that type of environment? I think just staying. Cool, calm, and collected is always kind of the, the phrase that we do. And, and Jaron is the epitome of that. So it's nice to have a quarterback that kind of sets the tone. And then all the other receivers, everyone kind of has that demeanor. And we're able to stay cool, calm, and collected the whole game. I came late, so you might have been asked this already. I'm curious, like, what was the last like 24 hours after that game like? I'm sure you were asked it. But. Yeah, no, it was, it was awesome. I got to enjoy it, be with my family, and, you know, have my friends by my side. And, but, like, kind of like I was saying, it was kind of a quick turnover. Okay, now it's Oregon time and kind of let it be in the past and uh, move on and go get this next win. I was talking to your high school coach earlier this week. Yeah. And you kind of mentioned that you have a knack for kind of stepping up into these moments when, you know, it looks like you might not be the guy, right? Like, mm -hmm. Do you kind of agree with that assessment from, of that from him? I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I love making plays. I love those pressure moments and um, to to do it when no one, ex no one is expecting. And I feel like that's just kind of what I've always lived for and always wanted to, to do is make those big plays and uh, and I'm confident in that so does anything change for you now that Oregon kind of knows who you are like in terms of preparation is that on your mind at all I mean I'm just gonna go out and play football you know it's not gonna be uh, something that's gonna get in my head or anything I'm just gonna go out and, and have some fun play some football and other guys are gonna make some plays we're just gonna go dominate and score some points in preparation, sorry. In preparation for this game, you know, late game at home last time. Yeah. Now it's a day game. Now it's at Oregon. You yeah. Guys have been practicing in the rain. How's the preparation kind of changed throughout the week for you guys? It's been awesome to have the rain. Actually, it's been <laughs> it's been a blessing to be able to practice and get the feel of, hey, it's probably going to rain. It's going to be loud. We're going to have the the music on everything, and it's been a great a great week of preparation. And I'm excited for whatever circumstance, whether it is raining, whether it's not, and. Uh, we're just going to go out and perform and be be who we are, be BYU football, and go and go dominate. In terms of crowd noise, have you guys simulated anything uh, like in practice with that? Yeah, we've had a lot of uh, speakers just kind of surrounding us so we can kind of get the feel of, uh, you know, cadences, different things like that to help us out. The recognition, you guys jump up, 
you know, and now, yeah. you know, how much does that get talked about? Because I know that the whole goal for the team is like, don't, don't drink the poison, don't get yeah. caught up. No, do you yeah. guys talk about it or do you really try and avoid it? No, we definitely don't talk about it in meetings or anything with Kalani. It's more the social media aspect and if guys get caught up into it, it's probably not a good thing. We talk a lot about just kind of punching it in the face and letting it go and moving on to the next game. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. No, like exactly. Like Connor said, if you guys lose, <laughs> he said that Monday, if you guys lose, then everybody will, you know. Go back to. Go back to being. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so. Exactly. Go play. Yeah. Hey, thanks, Jason. Oh, appreciate it. Thank appreciate you guys. you guys. Thank you.